I, Jesus, come this night to abide within the hearts of my own and to stimulate deep within you those God essences and heavenly flavors. of enriching light that will bring to you each one through the nexus of your heart greater access to your own Christ consciousness your own divinity the blessedness of your soul by the grace of the Holy Spirit. Many seek healing from outside of themselves, from physicians, all manner of substances methodologies and various practices dearest ones all of these may be essential components of a pathway toward wholeness at times. And yet each of these is also an outer manifestation that is meant only to lead you directly to the core of your being, your true self, from which wholeness manifests by your conscious choice to live within the sanctity of your eternal being which exists now within you and has since the onset of your created beingness in the heart of God. Therefore, I desire that you consider augmenting all that you do for health and well being with the impetus of the light that manifests behind all of these that which is causal in nature of transformational change that you seek that which arises from within the clarity of your own over soul and divine presence which as you listen carefully and meditate consciously with the divine light you will know and understand is that true and divine spark and essence that when imbibed when felt when realized can and may result in greater wholeness which is oneness with God it were better for some to seek a greater action of soulfulness manifesting within them whereby tapping into, tuning into that which God 
created as their true essence. They feel and know. For from this fount of beingness, all light manifests, all joy expands. And the rebirthing process of yourself within your true self occurs. You have heard me say, seek first the kingdom and all these other things shall be added unto you. And it is so, blessed ones, that when you put first things first, when you seek God fully, emblazoning his, her awareness within you, then the outer manifestation of anything and everything that you righteously desire naturally arises and manifests because it is God's great pleasure and joy to provide for you all the essentials of life, the requirements of your physical temples, your mind, your heart, your will in balance. And therefore, when you set all aright, we alight right where you are. The ascended hosts, angels who love you and would adorn you with the clothing of heaven, which is light itself. Colored by the frequencies and the virtues of your causal essence. Some seek surcease from distress, pain, sorrow, suffering, anguish, torment of all kinds. And yet, dearest ones, they look not to the cause of all of these as that which was the origin of their issues and problems of today. And so we must teach mankind the way, the truth and the life of the initiate whereby you always return to the origin and the first cause of everything, who is God. And when you feel and know that causal essence within yourself, the God light within, meditate upon, feel, intuit, and know this, then bathing in that light, basking in that eternal fire, your wholeness naturally manifests in all realms, and all states and phases of being because you have resolved the great issue of life. You have returned to first principles and thereby won the secret of life itself through the breath of beingness within the heart of God. All of the outer things that you do God uses as stimuli ultimately to return you to him herself within the core of your being. And throughout the rounds of your existences in time and space, through all that you experience, all that you learn, it is only when you surrender these, let go of self outside of the circle of true identity in the point of centrality in God, 
of God as God that you get it, that you see clearly and that you know your true course of oneness. Therefore, take your supplements, see your physicians, chiropractors, nutritional advocates, naturopaths, and all of those who are truly health conscious and mindful and who understand the laws of cause and effect within the body temple. Yet, dearest ones, during your times of seeking the way out, seek the way in through oneness with your presence. Feel the nutrition working deeply within you to recreate you again within that original blueprint of being. Know that nothing can touch your soul of this outside world of illusion, lest you give it the power to do so by acceptance of it as effective or infective of who you are. You see, healing is not some strange science outside of the laws of true divine physics, chemistry, and biology. When one goes to the core of all life and knows God within the singularity of the individual cells and the essences within those cells, the God embedded there and from which all life has sprung. Then you access the reality of life and what can assist you in returning to perfect equanimity, balance and harmony, body, mind, and soul. Spending more time contemplating God and in union with the spirit of who you truly are works, dearest ones. It works from the within out and this is where true wholeness manifests. Give not the power to outer situations, others who have impacted your life negatively or positively, that which is truly causative of the results that you observe within your own being. You have chosen the path that you have walked and allowed all to manifest day and night for weeks, months, years, decades and incarnations. Look to your own choices and return to an understanding of the laws of beingness to your will, your love, your wisdom as the originating electronic fire essences within your threefold flame that dynamically impact everything 
of who you are. And when you choose life as this divine imprint of God's being within you, and allow yourself to be rephased into that original divine holy spark of light and love, then you have the wherewithal, the empowerment, the cosmic drive to overcome any obstacle in your path. Anything that temporarily exists because you have accepted it as your reality now. And in this recreation of yourself within your true identity by your conscious acceptance of it, true healing, true oneness, divine wholeness, blossoms. You see healing may occur in the twinkling of an eye for those who divinely and magically access this reality of the singularity of God within them, of how God has never desired for you to in any way be unwhole, lacking in health, or what you require. It has always been God's desire that you live in complete union with light and love. Therefore choose this throughout your day, through every hour, and be refreshed in the Spirit most holy that will permeate your being by this choice and originate so much more of a joyful and divine life that you may experience for the duration of this incarnation and far beyond into the timeless and spaceless realms of perfection and divine glory. Dearest ones, my treatise this night is a teaching on wholeness that all may study when at times they collude with those outside forces that temporarily bring them back to a state of disequilibrium an acceptance of something less than who they are. Return to me, God says, within every in-breath. Return to me, O oh my beloved. Be with me in oneness. Love all life as I love thee. Perfume the cosmos with your holy essence, who I am within you, day and night, night and day. I now rephase you, each one, as your Holy Christ Buddha Self knows you and is already manifesting the divine state of being within the core of who you are. I strengthen that core as the true you which you may live within now and for all time. And in the strengthening, your Christ consciousness may be infused and effused throughout your being 
your Christic essence may shine forth throughout every system of your temple, the skeleton system, your blood stream, your musculature, your lymphatic system, all the organs, all the chakras, every cell, and that which abides, interpenetrating your physical temple of the electronic fire of your higher spiritual bodies. I see it all as perfect for each of you. I behold it even as I beheld those who were healed instantly by the light of the Christ that I bore then and that I bear now, even for you, my beloveds. Be that light this night. Be that fire that is your godly essence and perfect harmony, balance, and in communion with the eternal Manvantarak Maxon Light. Now the Holy Spirit comes to rekindle within many aspects of your true self which in some way have been surrendered, let go of, or consciously strewn about the cosmos. By the power of the spirit of divine love, all these are drawn back unto you this night by your acceptance of them through the magnetism of your heart's fire and your devotion to God, to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, the Sacred Heart of many saints above and below, and your true desire for oneness with the eternal. And as these soul parts and surrendered aspects of your true divinity return, the adjustment manifests and your completeness ensues as best as your Holy Christ Buddha Self sees fit to allow it and to assist in its manifestation. Breathe deeply each day. Drink the wine of the Spirit as you imbibe any liquid that you choose to take into your temple of light. And abide with me as I abide with thee. Yes, I am the vine, ye are the branches, and we together form the whole of that which provides the grape, the wine of love to humanity. I am your Jesus, still accepting you for who you are and have always been in perfection and yet goading you to self-realize this oneness state through the magnet of your heart and your love of and for God. I love you 
and will care for you so long as you require me, beloved ones. Thank you.